I'm now going to welcome up to the stage um, Iraqi Garif Shafili, whose name I probably mangle, but if you're called Micklethwaite, then you, you have some digression, who is the Prime Minister of Georgia. And the reason why it is so interesting to have Georgia here at the moment is because back in 2008, um, before Ukraine, there was Georgia. Prime Minister Georgia, come sit down. Prime Minister, thank you very much. As I was saying, you know, we are, Georgia is in an unusually interesting position at the moment. Um, not only do we have telephone calls coming in for you even now, um, the, the, Georgia is in an incredibly interesting position, partly because of what has happened with um, uh, Ukraine and Russia, what happened to you back in 2008, because back in 2008, Georgia was invaded as well. But also this week, we have the European... The public in Georgia, its support for the Ukrainian people is very visible, but the government's approach has been a little bit more nuanced. Perhaps you'd like to make that clear. Well, thank you very much. First of all, I would like to express my gratitude to His Highness for inviting us here in Qatar. This is my first time in this beautiful country, and I want to thank you again. It is a great opportunity to speak about the challenges that we all face it is indeed a different world. It is in a different world. We are witnessing the change of rules-based international order. And you mentioned that uh, before Ukraine, it was Georgia, 2008, of Russia into Georgia, in our country. Russia invaded Georgia, and uh, Russia occupied 20% of our territory, which is still occupied. So 20% of our territory is occupied by Russia. And Russian troops are in Georgia on our territory, so we basically live with Russian troops. So this is reality. So it's an ongoing occupation. I want to remind everyone that during that time, 2008, no one in this world paid uh, enough attention, let's, let's be very open and very frank, to the fact that a sovereign nation, independent country, Georgia, was invaded by Russia, a neighbor country, occupied 20% of territory, and there was no reaction, no adequate, proper reaction from the world. No sanctions were imposed on Russia, nothing. So in 2014, the world was surprised when we all saw the annexation of Crimea. And just recently, 2022, now we are witnessing a full-scale invasion of Russia and Ukraine. So. <clears throat> To answer to your question where Georgia stands in this situation, you can understand that having to into account the fact that Georgia is occupied and we live with the Russian troops, Georgia, let's be very open, is quite vulnerable in the situation. Of course, we worry about the security situation, about security of our, of our nation, of our people. Politically, of course, we support Ukraine. At every international platform, whether this was UN, EU, OSCE, everywhere, we joined more than 260 resolution statements, everything what you, we could do. You, won't, you, you said you won't join international sanctions against Russia. Is that because of the fact that you have... Yeah, let me, let me clarify this. Of course, we're part of the international uh, financial, global financial system, and one of the clear examples that... Uh, the reaction was adequate, was that, you know, we made it very clear publicly that no sanctioned individual or company will be allowed to use Georgia to bypass its sanctions. And one clear example is VTB Bank. The moment it was sanctioned, of course, the National Bank of Georgia, together with the government, worked very closely and rapidly. Within one week, we, we managed this deal. So we solved the issue. But we made it clear that we, Georgians, we cannot impose national, let's say, economic sanctions on Russia yeah. for very obvious reasons, because, our, because we have our own national interests. We have our own, let's say, security challenges. We have our own economic challenges. So that's, that's 
that's basically our motivation. And Georgia is not the only country that did not impose national economic sanctions on Russia. You, because of the vulnerability of our country, because you cannot find many countries which are occupied by Russia. And having to account the geography of our country, you can easily understand where we are. Do you, worry, do you worry at all about it looking as if it's rewarding aggression, though, by not pushing for those sanctions? Again, I want to repeat. I, as the head of the government, I must think about the security yeah. of our people. Of course, politically, we align with the international, international community and uh, we're in full coordination with our international partners, uh, with our American partners, with our European partners. So that's, that's our position. Uh, so How basically, for example, Moldova, who is another associated trio, uh, member of the associated trio, did not impose uh, economic sanctions on Russia for very obvious reasons. They have even more, maybe more, let's say, uh, security challenges. And more, more you, 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 mentioned, you mentioned Moldova and we mentioned Ukraine. All three of you, so Moldova, Georgia, Ukraine, you're all up this week, actually, for candidate status of the European Union. And on Friday, the Euro European Commission recommended that Ukraine and Moldova would be given the status, but it said Georgia had more work to do. Uh, what, what is your reaction to that? Unfair. But, of course, we understand. We heard uh, from European leaders that they decided to grant the status to Ukraine because the Ukraine is in war. Hmm. And Moldova, as a very close neighbor country to Ukraine, is in a very difficult situation. Economic, security challenges, and, this, and, and so on. Of course, if you compare Georgia's performance, let's say, our reforms and everything, uh, merit-based approach, if this would be a merit-based approach, of course, Georgia would be the first country to be granted the candidate status. Why? Because of the very concrete deliverables, very concrete results and performance of our country. But of course, all three nations, Georgia, Moldova, Ukraine, were granted the European perspective, mm. which is historic decision of European Union, because why? European perspective means that country will become a Euro European uh, member of the European Union. And of course, the uh, candidate status will follow under certain conditions. But I want to make it very clear. Conditions were put on all three nations, and which is a very normal, let's say, practice to other uh, countries which were associated and then later candidate uh, countries. Do you, you think the European Union is being unfair on Georgia? Well, as I said, you know, we heard the official positions yes. of European leaders. For example, President, President uh, Macron, he said publicly a few days ago that the European Union decided to grant Kenya status to Ukraine because the Ukraine is in war. But so you would it's say kind of an uh, encouragement, let's say so, right? As a bonus, that I would say so. And what about NATO? I mean, most of, the, most of your population seems right. to be keen on, but are you committed to joining NATO? Well, more than 80% of our nation support Euro-Atlantic integration. And we, our party, and our government did everything we could since we came to power in 2012. We signed the association agreement with, with, agreement with the European Union, the free trade agreement, visa-free regime. Now we officially applied for the membership. In, as for the NATO membership, this is our determination. In 2017, we made uh, several constitutional amendments, and we put into the Constitution that Georgia's foreign policy path is Euro-Atlantic. In fact, I was, um, this was my, during my first premiership in 2015, when we opened, inaugurated a joint training center with NATO. At the time, uh, Secretary General Stoltenberg was in Tbilisi, yeah. so this is a clear demonstration of our very close you know, cooperation. This is our motivation to become a member of NATO as well. But of course, we have strategic patience, but strategic readiness. We understand it's not, it does not depend only on our wish to become a member of NATO. It depends on the consensus that all member states of NATO should agree to grant membership to NATO. But let's be also very frank. We're not naive. We understand that uh, Georgia has you know, problems, territorial problems, right, with mm. Russia. 
we must solve it for, first, and then become a member of NATO. This is the understanding of our European and NATO uh, member countries. But to, to, solve, to solve the territorial problems of Russia, that would require trusting President Putin or dealing with President Putin. Right. What do you think, just very quickly at the end, well, what, do you, what do you think of President Putin? Can you, can you trust him remotely after what he's just done to Ukraine? Well, I'll tell you, uh, you know, I started uh, my conversation from our own experience, right? 2018, we experienced a large-scale, full-scale war, war. In the 90s, when uh, Georgia became, uh, regained independence, we had uh, two wars in our breakaway regions, in Abkhazia and Ossetia. These are yeah. separatist, uh, let's say, regions. And uh, Russians, at that time, 30 years ago, were helping these separatist groups. So we fought against Russia three times over the last 30 years. So um, our government's policy is to restore territorial integrity and sovereignty uh, through peaceful negotiations. It depends, it, you know, of course. But if Putin, means, gave, if Putin gave his word to you, would you trust him to complete it? Listen, we haven't had any contacts, direct contacts, uh, since we came to power in 2012. There has been no political, let's say, uh, consultations. Only economic trade relationship exists. So, therefore, I, this, is, uh, this is the reality that we live in. I, Prime Minister, we appreciate your reality and your diplomacy in answering that question. Um, <laughs> thank you very much for opening the Qatar Economic Forum. Thank you, sir. Thank you. 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 Thank